大家好吗 ？Everyone OK？ 我今天要念一些我的日记啊，给你们听，有关有一点有关昨天那个问题啊。不过啊，不是百分的啊 ，is not hundred percent。好，放耳机哦。我讲英文，因为我写英文啊。OK， put your ears on. It's English because <laughs> I wrote in English. I don't want to translate into Chinese or、uh, Spanish or German or Hungarian or Chilean or Mongolian or Korean or whatever. We have talent. Yeah, we have translators who are excellent. In、uh, spontaneous auto translation, I really feel very proud of them. It's very difficult to translate like that,、hmm? spontaneously. I'm trying to, to to talk slowly so that they can catch up. But sometimes I get excited like you, and then I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. Whatever you missed, you can. Look on SFTV later, huh? Maybe they will translate it all many languages for you. At least some of the main language, huh? Well, sometimes we have、uh, Zulu language or <laughs> some、uh, Hopi language or oh, so many tribes, so many languages in the world. We cannot afford all of them on the screen. Now I'm going to read it for you. All this information came from when I meditate. Okay, yes. By the way, I have to go on retreat after today. Yeah, supposed to be one month and three days, but I probably can shorten it. Just I don't know how. I don't have time. You take up all my time. My dogs take up my time. You take up my time. <laughs> Bad disciple take up my time. A、good disciple take up my time.、Uh, in between disciple take my time.、Uh, attendance、uh, is for dogs take my time.、Uh, I take my own time <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes I need to wash. I need to eat. I need to take care of some group of people, etc., etc. Like you know, in the world we have different duties. Yeah. And as long as I'm in the world, I have to take care of worldly duty, and it takes so much time. Yeah, I could tell you more, but I don't have enough time to check inside. Okay? Yes.、Uh, the mind cannot contain all the informations from the higher levels. Yeah. So I have to check it <laughs> with the soul. Yeah, and then translate it into the mind, and then make the mind assimilate it. And then translate it into the languages that you could understand. So it's kind of filtering, filtering down, huh? Yeah. And sometimes I am sick. I'm not sick. I'm healthy. Just sometimes the karma of the world, not just yours, okay? And then it、uh, make me headache or heart problem, stomach problem, etc., etc. Yeah. And so <laughs> everything takes up some time, huh? And then so so and so, you know, you know the rest, okay, huh? This is not hundred percent of the information, uh, but uh, some percentage of it. I will continue do more research, okay? I tell you before I forget, okay? Because it's not written in here. Some some are not written. Sometimes I write half, and then I had to leave because time. For what? 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 In this world, we have a clock. You know, time. I have to do what? 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 In all these physical stuff. So sometimes I don't write everything here, or sometimes I can't write at all. I'm no time. Recently, I have it all empty.、Yeah? Many times I cannot write much. Yeah. Okay. So now this. Information is not hundred percent. Okay, I tell you before I forget something, because the information I'm going to give you 
it will give rise to another question. And I tell you now before I forget, because it's not written in here. For example, why Shakyamuni Buddha has to refer to Amitabha Buddha in order to save one of his followers in jail. The queen was in jail because her son make evolution or something, and then etc., etc. Yeah, there's a long story. And she was in jail and she was praying to uh, Shakyamuni Buddha to save her, to help her. And then he appeared, you know, not like, uh, not physical, yeah, a light body, yes. Just like yesterday, some of your sisters say, I was behind her on the bus or next to the bus. I wasn't there. It was just light transformation, uh, transcendental or light body, okay? Remind me, Amitabha Buddha, before I forget, <laughs> because the calendar goes on. Amitabha, remember that? Remember, tell me if I forget, because I'm on another subject now, which is related, because you see, one thing lead to another, and I go on forever. <laughs> Even it seems very long to you, but the information they give you is just this much compared to what I have, now, what I can access and what I know. I like the transformation body. Sometimes you see Master in your living room or in your bedroom or on the street, you know, giving you a sample booklet. It wasn't me. I'm not going out giving anything anywhere, anytime. <laughs> it's not my job, <laughs> okay? I don't have time to go out and give sample booklet or direct you to where you wanted to go. It was the transformation body. It was the light body. Uh, Master has many bodies, can manifest body anywhere when necessary. But it's not necessarily that you can see. Some can see, some cannot. Okay? That's all. But doesn't mean Master is not there. Now, uh, Sekamoni Buddha, of course, he has tens of hundreds of thousands of manifestation body or light body or transcendental body, meaning that body doesn't need to be in one place. It can go anywhere, transcend the time, space, and all obstacles, yeah. So he used one of his transcendental body to manifest himself in jail, to talk to the poor queen. And it's a transcendental body. He didn't give the initiation there, of course not. Huh? That needs some physical instrument, okay? So he tell the queen to recite uh, Amitabha Buddha's name. Yes, Amitabha Buddha is ancient Buddha, ascended Buddha already. So therefore, it's a different dimension. Her soul can access it. Yes, but in this physical dimension, it is needed a physical instrument. Okay. Otherwise, the Buddhas or the saints or, you know, Master would just stay in heaven and just <laughs> transmit uh, information. Need a Master, physical one, to open the eyes, to open a true hearing organ so you can hear the celestial uh, vibration, you know, you can receive it. Not actually hear because we don't use the ear. It's just in this physical world, we have to say that we hear the inner inside sound, we see the inner light, but actually we don't see because the eyes are shut. You just use the inside eye, the true eye. And we, when we so-called hear the inner sound, we use the true ear. And the master can open that. A master in the physical body and use another physical body even can do but must have an, a physical body. So the Buddha has to manifest himself with his transcendental body to go into jail, because he cannot go in physically, even if he wanted to. Yeah, the queen is not allowed to see anyone, least of all the Buddha. Yeah, the, the prince did not want that, yes. Didn't want her to have any comfort of any kind physically, mentally or emotionally or spiritually, it was a very bad son. Some former enemy or some bad affinity. 
it's not necessary the prince fought. It just had to happen that way. Uh, for example, one time the, one of the king, he wanted a son so much, yes. And uh, one of the yogi was alive, uh, promised to be his son, yes. But the king forced him to die quick, so that he can have the son quickly. And the yogi told him, if you force me like this, I'm going to be your enemy. If you force me to die before my time, I'm going to be your enemy and etc., etc. Many other things happened. Very bad for the king, but he did not listen. The king did not listen. Therefore, the prince, after he's born, grown up, turned out to be the king's enemy. Okay, huh? Yeah, for example, like that. So now, maybe it's the same story. Uh, it doesn't matter. I just want to point out to you that everything should be in a natural process and not being forced to happen. Yeah? Otherwise, things will turn out not as we wish, but maybe the opposite result will come out. So the Buddha manifested himself into the jail and talked to the, the queen, telling her that in this situation she should be patient and be more inward, more spiritually inclined. Don't worry about the outer situation because it doesn't help. And whatever happened to you in this physical life, even if it's painful, sorrow, or happiness, or wellness, it's transient, temporarily only. So not to worry about it, be calm, have peace, be forgiving, and concentrate on now, of the instruction that the Buddha tell her that she should practice all the time. And take the time that she's in jail, that she has no responsibility, and nothing can harm anymore, yes. So she take the time to practice the Amitabha method. So the Buddha has told her how to recite the Amitabha Buddha's name and how to imagine the Amitabha Buddha's land, how beautiful, etc., etc. Every day she has to imagine that in her mind and recite in his name continuously without any interruption without any other thought as much as she can until she has only that name and all these beautiful uh, Amitabha Buddha's land in her mind, nothing else. Yes. Then even if she dies, she goes straight to Amitabha Buddha's land and nothing can happen to her. Yes. All right. So the Buddha say this and that. Now you understand why the Buddha did not tell her because she wasn't initiated. And this is a transformation body only, yes? Number one. Number two, Shakyamuni has not much affinity with her in the past. He has seen that she has affinity remotely, far, far, <laughs> eons and countless of time that you could not even name, you couldn't even count. She was having some good affinity with Amitabha Buddha when he was physically in some planet, not necessarily on this planet, other planet. Otherwise, the Buddha would have told her, uh, maybe recite Kwan Yin Bodhisattva name, uh, maybe recite uh, Medicine Buddha's name. There are many other Buddhas who could help sentient beings as well, yes. But through the transmission of the physical Buddha, is more efficient, yeah. So even if, for example, if the master told somebody to recite the Buddha's name, then the master has charged that Buddha's name with his or her power. Therefore, when the person recited, it's different than when he just read in the book and happened to know Amitabha Buddha name and recite it. When a master is in the world, he doesn't just liberate the disciples, he liberates the whole world during his lifetime. Well, with some exception, I will tell you which one cannot be liberated, okay? 
Now, so when the Buddha was alive, all the angels, the divas, the divine uh, beings come down all the time. Uh, his disciples, some of them see them, some of them not. Some of them see them, they wrote it. You see, like Ananda, he wrote the account of uh, the disciples that say that who and who has come down to listen to the Buddha lecture or to visit the Buddha, etc., etc. Some disciples saw it, not physically, okay? And then, of course, they told it in the assembly, and Ananda wrote it down. Ananda wrote it down, so now we know during Buddha's time, which divas, which uh, uh, celestial beings came visit him, or listen to what lecture, or saying what, 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 uh, offering what, what, what to the Buddha, okay? But in the normal eyes of normal people, nobody saw nothing. You can sit next to the Buddha and you like deaf, blind, see nothing, hear nothing. <laughs> Some high level disciples see it, or sometimes blessed with the Buddha power, then can see it. Yeah, like some child at home, and your children, your child see master come, you see nothing. Well, thank you very much, and congratulations <laughs> <laughs> for your blindness. The children, sometimes they're so innocent, pure, they can see the master come to the house, or do what, or bless you, something, and they tell you the initiates, some of them. Yeah, you know, right? Yeah, yeah, you know that. So some pure-hearted people are high level, Practitioner can see some things that we don't see. When all these divas and divine beings came down to this world and see the Buddha, uh, made uh, obeisance to him, or pay respect to him, and they all praised the Buddha, Shakyamuni Buddha at that time, in our world. Yeah, many other Buddhas go different planet and rescue other beings in different world. Yes, but in this world. Physically, we knew only Shakyamuni Buddha has been recorded, yes. But of course, all the masters are also Buddha, like Guru Nanak was also a Buddha, okay? Uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, also a Buddha. It's just different, different names, okay, different names. Jesus Christ was a Buddha. Uh, Buddha means enlightened beings, enlightened master, okay, huh? and can also teach others, yes, or not, want to or not. <laughs> Some Buddha don't teach disciples. Some teach very few. Some teach a lot, okay? So Shikamuni Buddha happened to have many disciples, and one of them was super intelligent intellectually and uh, in memory, therefore he can remember and record it. Or maybe at that time they also have this shorthand technique so they can write it quick. Yeah. Or whatever he remember, he come and write it. Some people still do it nowadays, you know? They don't write it immediately, but they remember everything. And then when they came home, they wrote it down. When all the divas come down, the divine beings from different heavens they come down, they always praise the Buddha, and put flower on him, you know, invisible. Sometimes it manifests into visible flowers, but mostly invisible. And they all praise him that, wow, he's superior in, in all the ten directions, because he can teach the hard-headed <laughs> human beings and rescue numerous of beings from suffering, uh, from hell, uh, from the cycle of transmigration, yeah? from life and death, and teach the thing that is uh, difficult to teach, difficult to understand. But he could teach, he could make sentient beings understand. So many divas and, and heavenly beings always come down and listen to his lecture, because he's benefit them. And that's why they call him uh, teacher of heavens and earth. So he teach also the heavens beings so that they can elevate their status or they can retain their status uh, or at least they don't have to come back down to the physical world, reincarnate again as human or animals or whatever. Karma awaited them after they finished their uh, good karma. As divas or as heavenly beings, they have to come down again in different 
path of life and it's very bad for them sometimes, they come to the wrong path. That's why sometimes you see some animals, they're super intelligent because they retain some of their power. Yes. Why do these divas and heavenly beings praise the Buddha so much? Like he rescued numerous beings, liberate numerous beings, and rescue the world even, that's what they said. Huh? How? We don't see any, it's not written in the Bible, in the Sutra, it's written there that Shekamoni Buddha has uh, disciples, a lot, a lot, but they didn't say the whole world follow him, right? So how? How? Why? The divas, the heavenly beings, praise Shekamoni Buddha as he rescued numerous beings, rescued the world. How? Why? Anybody knows? Anybody knows? Uh, I am my fan. <laughs> I can give you. Yeah? Tell me. Uh, so, the 他化身即住所有众生 He said that maybe the Sekamoni Buddha He has a numerous of a transformation body A light body, transcendental body For he will manifest himself, go different places And rescue people This is not the cause, okay? Yeah, it's not the cause because, for example, he manifests with his light body in the jail to help the queen only, you see? But no one else around the queen will see him or hear any instruction of the Buddhas, you see? So the transcendental body has a limit. It can be only there at that time to that person or that group of people to do that job only. I also have other body to do some other job. <laughs> you know, physical, manifested physical body in the world. I told you already before, I think, somewhere. <laughs> 内在的万能力量提升所有众生的灵魂，所以释迦牟尼佛那个时代的灵魂都可以解脱。Yeah，那都对了啦，过来过来过来。给他。Okay。嗯。No，I <笑> Okay, no, never mind. It's cool. Ah, uh, I don't have any pen. I do have at home. I should have given her something else, like a pen or something, right? <laughs> giving everything away and I have nothing. <laughs> okay. When a Buddha is in the world, any Buddha, okay, in the world, he can use, he has, of course, cannot imagine power, yes? So he can do anything. Oh, thank you. This is not so beautiful, huh? I love beautiful. I say, this is not so beautiful. I love beauty. <laughs> I love beautiful things. <laughs> I'm born like that. I can't help it. <laughs> All right, then. When a Buddha is in the world, because of the physical body is connected with all beings in the physical realms, yes? You are connected together in this physical dimension, one way or another. And then you take food from this world, yes, and you breathe the same air with everyone else, okay? And you drink water from the world and many other things, okay? Every little thing connected the Buddha with this world. Yes. So he can use that to connect with people and help them to liberate. Do not think 
that you are the best spiritual practitioner because you are initiated. No, you are not all the worst. Some of you are friends, you know, and uh, ancient disciples who come back, uh, helping in some way with the world, okay? Some of you are enemies coming back to, <laughs> uh, yeah, making trouble. But still, in this way, you still connected with the Master, close, yeah? And then you also redeem, you also be redeemed. But sometimes not easy. So you can see Shakyamuni Buddha has what kind of disciple next to him. Hmm? The first one were the, the five who has been drinking his blood in long, 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 long eons ago when they were a kind of demons, you know, blood-sucking demons. We call them nowadays Dracula. Actually, Dracula, it doesn't mean demons. It was the name of one of the count, you know, one of the royalty, long, long time ago. He used to live in a, a castle alone, and maybe he has something to do with this, with this kind of unthinkable deeds or something. And then since then, anyone who has this kind of tendency or, or this kind of quality, they call him Dracula. Yeah, I mean, blood-sucking beings, okay? They live on blood. I haven't read the diary yet, <laughs> and I just explaining it, keep going on. I will read it, okay? It's very short anyway, yes. That's why the Master has to be reborn physically. Otherwise, it would be so easy just to stay in heaven and hula, hula up, and everybody enlightened, liberated. It's not like that. You have to make affinity with beings in the physical levels, yeah? You have to suffer with them, laugh with them, you know, uh, cooperate with them, doing things with them, in many different ways, okay? So that's why all the divas in, that came down and they praise the Buddha, that the Buddha teach difficult things, liberate beings who are difficult to be liberated, and numerous of them. Otherwise, as far as we see the record, Buddha has only maybe, maybe some thousands of disciples, a maximum maybe tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands maybe, or even one million. How much can it be at that time with the difficult transportation and communication? Even then, it wasn't the whole world that came to be his disciple and initiated, and even that queen as well. She heard of his name perhaps, but maybe she could not go to see him due to some reason. Or maybe she heard it already after she's in jail, or maybe she was just a follower, but not the initiated disciples. Even, I told you, we read already in the Sutra that Ananda, the foremost, closest to the Buddha, was not initiated until then. Many years after, the Buddha wasn't in a hurry <laughs> to give anyone initiation. Believe it or not. Huh? And Ananda was his cousin, royal cousin, and life after life they've been together. And Ananda was his favorite disciple. And his selected uh, attendant, the one and only. So Ananda does everything from A to Z for the Buddha. And he didn't give him any initiation until after Ananda get seduced by the artisan who used a Brahman heaven mantra with the most powerful, nothing can resist, to charm him into her room to her house. And the Buddha has to counteract it. When Ananda was praying so hard in his heart, he's a monk, he didn't want to have any woman relationship. He sincerely did not. He was just lured into it because he was weak. He's not strong enough. Uh, thanks to the Buddha, huh? <laughs> he should have given him <laughs> protection by initiation or something more. Or the mantra that he used afterward to rescue Ananda. So, Buddha has to send Manchusri to recite that mantra, the counter mantra, 
in order to rescue Anand. Then uh, Anand like woke up from a deep slumber and run, 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 run back to the Buddha, <laughs> cried like baby. <laughs> Thank you, sorry, whatever, you know, right? Yeah. It's probably not written in the sutra, but we can imagine how how he felt when he ran out of that artisan house, ran back to the Buddha. Mm. But, uh, okay, it's not every woman can seduce Anand. Just this mantra is too powerful. It's called Brahma Heaven. Brahma is the highest, top of the third world. Yeah, the creators of the three worlds. And that mantra from that heaven, of course, nothing in this world can cure, except with the Buddha's counter mantra, which is very powerful. Yes. Uh, it's uh, many pages, I told you. <laughs> I did not read it to you because I'm not sure if it's useful. Okay, never mind, you have the five names and the given, you could not even remember not to talk about this 20 pages or 10 pages mantra, okay, yeah? And it's not because of Brahma Heavenly Mantra only, it is because they had affinity with each other, too deep, deep-rooted affinity for long, many lifetime and long aeons ago. So when they met each other, she could not let him go. She was the one who is more attached. Maybe long ago you had an, a relationship with one woman, for example, and then you did not uh, want to continue the relationship anymore, maybe you divorced or something. Maybe many lifetime ago, or maybe this lifetime still. But the woman did not want to end the relationship. So just you alone and it doesn't make everything completely erased and deleted and disappear. So the woman continued to maybe stalk in you, uh, maybe try in many ways, call you, email you, <laughs> and visit you, making all kind of excuses to visit you, or to see you, to talk to you, or maybe using some even wicked trick to make trouble for your life, hmm? after you already have another relationship, or don't have any relationship. Similarly, in a former life, you have a relationship with somebody and you quit. But the woman or the man did not want to quit. She might reincarnate again as a woman or as a man, continue to follow you in some way. In Chinese we say, yuan cha lu zai, meaning <laughs> enemies road are very narrow. You always bump into each other, huh? you want it or not. <laughs> That's why it's better you don't make any enemies, huh? no, <laughs> or love your enemies. And that is why most enemies come back to each other as husband and wives, or parents and children, to repay the others in love or kindness, or to equalize the hatred, enmity yeah, between them. Okay? That's why all the master tell you, love thy neighbor, love thy enemy. Yeah? <laughs> Buddha say the same, forgive and love. But it's not easy. Therefore, many of the marriage relationships are very rocky, very unpeaceful, very troublesome. But they still continue, they cannot leave each other. Somehow, the more fighting, the more they stay with each other. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> until uh, the karma ends, I guess. Sometimes it doesn't end until you go into the coffin. Then it ends. Maybe. <laughs> if it ends there, then next life you don't have to continue with that person or the another person anymore. If it doesn't end yet, if the karma still has some residues, then maybe next life continue. For a while or for long, it depends on how big uh, <laughs> the karma. Yeah, no escape. That's why, because the Buddha didn't just liberate his own disciples, the official disciples. He liberated all beings on the same planet that he lived, as long as he lived. Jesus said the same, I am the light of the world, as long as I am in the world. 
No one goes to the Father except through me. That's what he said. It is because of that. Yeah. And uh, some disciple asked him about his father. He said, I am here already. Why you ask about the father? Meaning he and the father are one anyway. No one goes to the father except through me. Similar like that. I am the light of the world as long as I am in the world. What is the light is for? The light is a symbol of direction. You see, without light, you can't walk. And the light leads you to where you're supposed to go. So where are we supposed to go? Yeah. Heavens. We came from heavens. We are the children of God. We must go home. When Jesus said the light, he doesn't mean, you know, the physical candlelight at that time. At that time, we don't have electricity. So the maximum light would be a big uh, fire light from the oil lamp, like the oil light. So when he said the light, he did not mean this kind of physical light. So he meant the light of the world, not just the light of his room, the light of his, the palace or the big light, the light of the world. When he talked like that, he talked to the followers, the disciples who already understood, yeah, the light. He means this limitless light, this unimaginable light, this all-pervasive light, yeah, therefore, he said, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Yes. Meaning this light could lead you to heaven. Yeah. The heavenly light will lead you where? Cannot lead you to your bathroom or your bedroom, no? Or supermarket? <laughs> if it's the heavenly light, where would it lead you? Yeah. Heaven. Wow. Enlightened very much. <laughs> Similarly, the Buddha also liberated all beings with his power, his inside light, yeah? So, Jesus did not say the same uh, vocabulary. It just meaning the same. At that time, many of Jesus' teaching afterward have been cut, edited, to suit the government at that time. Yeah. They make a deal or something. Okay, you can continue to go to your church and practice your uh, faith, but you have to cut this, this, this. It's not suitable for our society, not suitable for our government, you know, put many people out of job, for example, like that, like the animals, farm raisers or the butcher, stuff like that, and the merchants who deal with the meat and the fish and stuff. By the way, meat also means fish, because the meat of the fish is also meat. Any sentient beings, anything from their bodies, are meat and bone. Whether or not from a big elephant or to the smaller uh, worm, it's the same. So when we say meat, mostly people think don't eat meat but eat fish. Well, many people do that. Friday, eat fish instead of meat. <laughs> so, don't eat meat, meaning don't eat any sentient beings part. Eh? No part of any sentient beings. That means meat, okay? So, the light of heaven can only lead you to heaven. The purpose is not to use it for anything else except to lead you home. Just like you have a torch. You go where you want to go, right? For example, you want to go home, you use the torch or the light to light the way to go home. And that light is for that purpose, and you control it. So, it's not possible that this light control itself and lead you to the bathroom of, of the neighbors, huh? for example, yeah? So, you control the lamp that lead you home, okay? Lead you where you want to go. Similarly, heaven light is controlled by heaven, of course, just to show you where to go home. And when Jesus preached in one area, whether Mount Olive or Mount Sinai, or wherever he preached, 
at that time, the whole world here, the whole heavens here, because the souls are not limited or obstructed by anything at all whatsoever. Thus, the Buddha doesn't have to even go in different places in the whole world to preach his doctrine. He even sit in one place <laughs> and the whole universe heard him at that time. Similar to any saint, any saint at all, any prophet at all, any master at all, they work like that. They work inside with the soul. They don't work with your brain. Your brain is just like a computer. Even it hears but it don't listen. <laughs> it hears but it don't remember. It hears but it doesn't always understand. Hearing you hear, but you do not understand. Seeing you see, but you do not perceive. It's like that. So the Buddha don't deal with brain and mind. The Buddha deals directly with the souls of all beings. Similar to Jesus Christ, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Guru Nanak, Lord Mahavira, Lord Krishna, all of them, they're preaching to the whole universe. But because physical uh, limitation, so not many humans can hear him physically with the ears, so they don't come to see him or get initiation. Or they come but they don't understand. Or they come but they don't feel like they should be his disciples. Mostly because of intellectual or position in the society. When you have high position in the government or something, it's the more difficult for you to humble yourself or openly come and seek the master to be his disciples or her disciple. Because you worry. You worry about how people think about you. How can a president or prime minister come and humble at the feet of the master and ask for initiation and eat vegetarian and all that? Nowadays, even the high society people, they, they, they are vegetarian, they don't even dare to, to say it. Yes. That's why 20 some years after, I made a very emotional speech to praise the presidents of the United States of America. I wasn't uh, much realized the importance of it at that time when I received the uh, World Spiritual Leadership Award. World Spiritual Leadership. Not just a spiritual <laughs> master, but World Spiritual Leadership for the presidents of America to acknowledge that, for them is something. It's not just any president, it's the president of the USA and many of the powerful governors of the state as well. Even if they did not come to ask for initiation or become my official disciples, they all gone to <laughs> high heaven, new land, yeah. Mm. Recently, <laughs> there had to be somewhere first, yeah, waiting because of different karma, yeah. So the world people will also be liberated. Liberated mean outside of the three destructible worlds. The three worlds is uh, the astral, I mean the invisible world, nah? not the physical world. Nah. The physical world, we come and go, come and go. The people in this physical world will be liberated after they die, because we only count after they leave the physical body, whether or not they be liberated. If they're liberated, meaning they transcend the astral world, the second world, and the Brahma world. Outside of these three worlds, you are free forever. Unless you want to come back sometimes for some reason to see your old master again or to help with the world, to help with the work of any master at all, something like that. 
uh, otherwise you you're free forever. Yeah, even if you don't go up to the fifth world yet or above to the new created spiritual land of Timco Two yet, you are free. You know, I mean, anyone who are above the three worlds are free forever. Maybe they have to wait there for some times, for some years. But in our uh, physical world, uh, years, I mean only seconds, <laughs> in, in the spiritual land, understand? Yeah, so they don't have to wait long. So the Buddhas and Christ and the saints rescue all the people, all the beings in this world, as long as they are in this world. And their energy will linger in the world for 300, 500 years after after their nirvana, after they leave the physical body, their spiritual energy, power, still stay in the world for three to five hundred years. It depends on how powerful the saint was or is. It depends on how high level of the saint or how powerful he is. So for the Buddha's levels, his energy linger in the world for five hundred years. That's why he often mentioned that 500 years after, after my nirvana, is the Dharma ending age, are you please, Anand, you help them or other, don't go to uh, Nirvana, don't, don't go and enjoy forever, please come back to the world and help beings, reincarnate again, help others not to fall into demonic path and demonic power. Some master live there spiritual footprint in our world, 300 years, 200 years, 100 years, depends. But they do leave some behind. So we thank all these uh, masters from the past and presence as well, who bless our world so that it get better and better all the time. Yeah. One second, thank you. We thank all of them. Before I forget again. You know, the inspiration come. I have to catch up, otherwise I forget. What was it, what was it concerning his... Ah, yeah, yeah. His question was that. How come he doesn't see any, like, golden <laughs> age <laughs> in our world yet, even though I have mentioned that we are in the golden era, yeah? It's inside only, yeah? I told already. But... Outside, you also see some sign, you know, like better technology, uh, higher uh, consciousness, more peace in the world, uh, less war, uh, more vegetarian, vegans, more actions to take care of the animals. Many countries since the 1990s, oh, more law for the animals, more protection for the animals, more punishment for the abuse of the animals. You see that? And reason, reason, keep coming more and more now. But I want to see more law than that. Because when a country's law mentioned that the animals have to be adequately cared for, protected from hunger, thirst, and elements, and pain, and sorrow, and fear, and suffering of any kind, then that has to include it, all animals, not just domestic. Because the law did not say only for domestic animals, only for pets, companion. It say animals. So the law has to carry out completely, all the way to the end, 100%. That's what I want to see. That's what I want all the government to wake up and realize the law that they made. And they will. They have to. They have to. If they want to go to heaven with me. And don't come back to suffer like the animals suffer. Because whatever you do to others, you will have to experience that one way or another, sooner or later. Yes. Now, come to this now, okay? <laughs> if I remember anything else, I will tell you. I just wanted to explain about Amitabha Buddha before I forgot, and then I went on and on. Oh, and I haven't even read my diary for you. I read it now, okay? All beings are or will be uplifted recently because 
you know, your master is stronger now. Before she cannot promise, but now she can, okay? Yeah, I need to go also on retreat more, okay? Yeah, it's for other things, for other things. Uh, to lessen the suffering, yeah, of the animals and humans. But all will be uplifted, except some exception that I will read to you. All beings in this planet, as long as I live, as long as your master lives, she will uplift them all to the new land. But gradually depends, okay? But at least they liberate it. Mm. Let me liberate it in any case, okay? Then they will go to new land, finally. But first have to wait somewhere. And cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. The people who finally made it to the new spiritual land of Tim Kutus, they are clean, all clear. So there is no different levels or no different dimension of uh, spiritual consciousness anymore. All the same, okay? Almost like here. Oh, we don't have enough room, so some sit behind there, some sit here. And we're more polite to the Westerner or the foreigners, they let you sit in front. And the Taiwanese, because they have seen me for decades or many years, so they sit behind there. That's all courtesy, okay? Uh, loving uh, treatment, okay? It doesn't mean the Westerners are better than the Taiwanese, okay? No, it's not like that, yeah? Just in the world, we treat people kindly when they are our guests, yeah? Westerners, or maybe the Thai, the Mongolian, if we have enough room, and the monks and the nuns. Yes, but it's not necessary that all monks and nuns are better than some of the people who sit way behind it. Not necessary. It's just outwardly we do that because it's the way we live in this world, okay? But in the newly created spiritual land from Tim Kutu, it's all clean, all clear already before can come, before can get there. Therefore, there's no, no differentiation between he asked me because in Amitabha land there are different levels of attainment. Even in his land, they call it Chiu Ping Lian Hua, mean the nine levels of a lotus. Yes. Mean if you are good, then you are born, and you sit on the lotus already next to the Buddha, near the Buddha. All the uh, some <laughs> lotus open, smaller, and some not open yet. You are inside, <laughs> waiting, <laughs> waiting inside the unopened lotus, the lotus bud, okay, and a different level. But in the new created, newly created, already all clean, all clear before come up. Mm? All right, and you can be there with Tim Kutu all the time. Yeah, to so, to your heart content. Yes. Further than that, you don't have to go. You should not. You could not, okay? You can visit a little bit original universe sometimes, but I don't know what for. <laughs> the new land is just as good, okay? Yes, yes. All right. So, you see, the one who will be uplifted to the new land are the virtues, you see, the repentant, the charitable, the true religious followers and the followers of your master, of course, in their heart, okay? In their heart. And not all official initiated, yeah. Not all can make it, but if they're sincere in their heart, and if some sinner, they repent, they can also go, okay? It takes some time longer than, than you, the direct good disciples, of course, né? Okay, now, the followings are not able to uh, get liberation even from your master, the following. Those who are against master physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, openly or secretly, like cursing the master, put the, a curse on master so she not well, etc., like that, okay? Or against her disciples, against the master disciples in some form, okay, in any way. These cannot be liberated, okay? But maybe if they repent at the end of their life, possible, okay? If, it depends on how big is the offense, how, how much they're against the master, or how much has they done to, against her disciple. 
Uh, next one is those who who produce weapons, yeah. And you go against uh, different governments, like double tongue, yeah. And uh, like go to talk to this government, say that government is bad for you, and go to that government, say this government is bad for you, making them against each other so that they can sell weapons and make money. Anyone who produce weapons, own the weapons producing company, cannot be rescued. The workers for the company are less, okay, less responsible, but still very hard to to liberate, to rescue, okay? It depends also how, how their heart is in with that business or not, yes. Uh, I'm just saying general, okay? Detail is, it's take too long, okay? <laughs> and the owner of any animal's slaughterhouse which kill total maim and harass animals, any owner of the, any slaughterhouse are not to be rescued, even if they repent afterward. If they change in this lifetime into vegan business or quit the slaughtering altogether and repent, then possible. But if they, to the end of their life, they still continue to own the business and let animals be slaughtered and tortured and hurt in any kind, then they cannot be liberated. Because animals are also God's children in different degree. God made them to help us. That's why in some Bibles say, ask the animals, you know, they help you. Ask the bird, they tell you. Ask the whatever, they will show you. They're here to bless the world also. They're full of light, full of love. You can see many clips we make on SMTV. They're so, they're better than humans, better than many humans. They have emotion, they have love, they have intelligence, they have faithful relationship with each other. They love each other, protect each other, and protect humans also. Even the ones who, who harass them and, you know, if in, in time of need, they still come and help that human, yes. Anyone who makes any being suffer deliberately in any way, also cannot be rescued. Anyone who are wicked in their heart, inciting wars, or anyone who, who are kind of dictative leaders, who harm their citizens or even opponents in any way, they also cannot be rescued. Any dictative leaders who restrict their citizens' movement and faith, I mean, belief, or travel, or different uh, political belief, any dictative leaders like that also cannot be rescued. They go to hell. Any leaders who, who like obstruct the citizen of their freedom of any kind so that they cannot interact with other citizens, they cannot share their knowledge or their faith with other citizens, they cannot travel to other countries, to interact with other country citizens or to learn from other citizens, other country citizens, knowledge or faith or any kind, harmlessly, any leader like that is responsible for themselves that they go to hell. No one else is responsible for them. No master can rescue them. They will be in hell for all endless of time. Endless, endlessly. Okay. That's more or less what I wrote here in my diary. And the rest were just extra calendar. <laughs>感谢师父。哦，我今天我很高兴能跟师父说，二十几年前，我是因为我的爸爸自杀了，我想要超度他
。可是那时候我的薪水很少，根本没有钱可以请法师。啊，在二十几年前，很我问过，好像六万多。后来哎，无意中找到了师傅，在我迎新完两个礼拜之后，我在打坐的时候，我看到了师傅的化身。然后我就喊了一声“师傅，我爸爸”，结果就那一刹那，师傅在天上，我爸爸也在师傅的旁边耶。嗯，我看到云在飞，师傅穿着白色的白袍，外面套着袈裟，然后穿戴着白帽子，拿了一根竹竿，啊，上面挂了葫芦。可是我爸爸对我是蛮严厉的。他跟我讲一句话：“打坐啦！”然后境界就没有了。哦，我在此谢谢师傅超度了我爸爸，我根本不花一毛钱。OK， 还有还有一点就是说，师傅不仅超度我爸爸而已，在九二一地震的时候，我那时候我感叹。那边死好多人哦，我就一直很诚心的求师傅，师傅你带他们走吧，他们好可怜。结果就因为这样，好奇怪哦，我看到的是好多好多的那个灵魂是透明的，而且有一点淡蓝色，整个荧幕都是淡蓝色，然后他们就像军队一样，就是整军这样子，一小方块一小方块。呃，如果说十乘以十的话，就是一百人。然后我看到是好几个方块，他们竟然整个像军队的那个队形，然后就在师傅那种，就是师傅下了一道光下来，可是那个光也不是很强。我觉得就是就像师傅那个有一幅画，不是有解脱吗？那解脱那一幅画的那个动作，这样子就这样咻一下，哎。我整个画面也没有，然后他们也没有了。师傅要超度他们是这么的容易。还有最近，我看到了狗狗，有四只狗。然后后来我认出来有三只是我养过的马尔济斯。然后我就想，哎呀，师傅好棒哦，把我的狗狗都带上天堂了。哎，怎么有一只第四只的狗？那一只狗，我想大概是师傅的狗吧。可是后来我想一想，应该不是哎。那只狗应该是我小时候在我家养的一只狐狸犬，它比较大只，哦，所以那时候我才想啊，原来那四只狗通通都在一起，而且他们在天堂在那里，好快乐啊！呃，我真的是很感谢师傅。然后还有一点就是说，我在最近打坐的时候，也看到有那个穿白袍，还有头发很长的，他们跪下来。我相信他们是在跟贵师傅感谢师傅，然后还有就是说，我看到呃那个好像有很多的灰烬，然后灰烬一直往上飘，那灰烬有些是淡蓝，呃，应该是说淡灰色，有的比较黑。我相信那个就是要么就是我的业障，要么就是呃同修或是地球的业障，就是这样子，就是破灭了，然后往上飘走这样子。那我在此，我很谢谢师傅带给我这么多的体验，也在也谢谢师傅，呃，就是我想要什么，师傅几乎都给我，我好感谢师傅，谢谢谢谢，不客气不客气。<笑> OK， 行，还有没有别？啊，师傅好，好，呃，我可以说一下我女儿的体验吗？呃。呃，小孩子有就是前年的时候有在西湖看到师傅，那是他第一次看师傅，然后，呃，他也很珍惜嘛。然后师傅，呃，当时开示呢，我们在讲台的侧面看不到师傅。后来师傅从那个侧面出来的时候，就是开车要回去的时候，我们就有幸看到师傅了。呃，后来小孩子跟我讲。啊，当时师傅穿着呃一套是白色的衣服，但是小孩子跟我讲，他说：“妈妈，我看到师傅的时候，师傅是穿着呃阿弥陀佛的那个衣服，然后师傅合着掌笑着向我走过来，然后师傅合着掌，然后全部都是万道金光这样子，然后是我看师傅就是阿弥陀佛。啊”
，所以他他那次看完师傅，他就说：“哎，你们看的怎么跟我不一样啊？”他说：“我看见师傅就是阿弥陀佛这样出来的，跟我看到画像里是一模一样。”呃，然后后来师傅又向我走过来的时候，啊，师傅突然又变成现在的衣服了。呃，这是小孩子的一个体验。呃，师傅，小孩子还前段时间打坐，还有一个体验，我能讲吗？嗯、呃，就是小孩子呃，前段时间打坐他就哭了，然后他整个泪水啊，就把那个枕头全部都哭湿了，醒过来。他他说师傅太不容易了，啊、呃。他他哭着醒过来，他说：“师傅，嗯，在在来我们大陆的路上，他说这个路上啊，全都是布满了这些石头啊，还有荆棘呀、啊。然后师傅一个人啊，背着一个穿的很单薄，然后路上全部都是很深的，呃，那个积雪。然后师傅长得个子又小小的，那个雪呀，一直到师傅的膝盖那么深，啊，师傅很艰难的在走，啊，那个。”后来呀，他说师傅穿的很单薄，背着一个小小的背包，呃，但是师傅又背着一个很无形的、很大很大很大的一个包。他说这个包就是世界的业障，呃，所有众生的业障。然后我们同修呢，说我们大陆的同修啊，有一些在帮忙帮师傅捡这个路上的垃圾，还有障碍的石头，但是也有很多同修在丢这个石头和丢垃圾。那有的人呢，捡的他说，有的人虽然在捡，捡了一点点，然后又扔了很多，啊，有的人呢，他以前是扔的，但现在他改过了，一直在帮师傅拼命的去捡这些障碍的这个石头和垃圾。他说后来呀，师傅就快到大陆了，突然摔倒了，然后师傅就手就出血了，师傅出血了，然后他就在梦里一直哭，他说师傅的血滴到那个雪白的地上，雪地上。每一滴血都绽，都化成了一朵莲花。后来他醒了，他哭着，他枕头全部都湿掉了。他跟我说：“妈妈，我们要好好做，啊，帮助师傅，啊，我们不要做丢垃圾的人，我们我们要做帮师傅捡垃圾的人，要帮师傅扫除这些障碍，让师傅能够把这个正法弘扬全世界，让所有所有的人都了解师傅，不误会师傅，让所有的人真正了解师傅的。”和我们徒弟我们在做的事情，嗯，就这样，师傅，感恩您。你小孩说不要关心那么多 ，OK？ <笑>师傅还好，嗯嗯。呃，我要跟师傅报告的就是说，我跟师傅二十七年阴心了，已经二十七年。可是我那时候刚跟师傅阴心的时候，师傅就解救了我的父亲。我的父亲他生前爱吃肉，最后没有想到一往生的时候，头七那一天我亲眼看到他回来，可是那时候我就知道说人不会死，最后我爸爸就马上下地狱，那时候我好伤心，最后我求了好多人帮忙，有一次我求观音菩萨，观音菩萨说叫我去找青海。那时候我还误会说要到青海省去找青海，最后我才知道说原来是青海师傅，最后我跟师傅印心后。两个礼拜，师傅亲自带我下地狱去救我爸爸上来。最后那一次下地狱的时候，所有的地狱全部都空了，<笑>因为师傅的力量，所有下地狱的灵魂全部都空了。师傅实在太伟大了。然后还有第二件事情，就是我有一次打坐的时候，看到师傅的眼睛好大好大，比整个宇宙还大。真的实在太大太大了，我感觉上我掉在师傅的眼睛里面，就像一个细沙一样。就是师傅真的实在太大了，那个眼睛，比，就是就像阿弥陀佛讲的，师傅的眼就是佛陀的眼睛，就像那个四大海一样，真的实在太大了，我实在无法形容。接着，二零一三年我哥哥过世，师傅一直跟我讲说。我哥哥已经解脱了，可是那时候我是一直很想看我哥哥，没想到我哥哥过世后半年后，师傅竟然在他的儿子身上显现，让我哥哥回来让我看到，我看他的到他的儿子后面放着七彩的光芒，实在太漂亮了。中午十二点钟哦。
他从门外走进来的时候，全身都放金光。太了不起了，真的师傅的力量太伟大，而且他儿子没有修行，他只是观音法门的儿子而已，修观音法门的儿子，他的脸竟然发金光，而且他的金光是从他儿子的脸里面射出来，我当时是觉得太奇怪，怎么会有人这样？我就靠近他的脸，看他的那个皮肤，最后我我哥哥的儿子还跟我讲说，姑姑，你为什么那个脸要靠我这么近？我是因为要看他为什么那个金光会从他的脸每一个细缝射出来，然后我的大嫂，因为她经常都毁谤我哥哥，就像刚刚师傅讲的一样，真的不能够毁谤修行人。我的大嫂，即使中午十二点钟太阳光照着她的身体。我看他全身都是黑的，连他的五官跟他的衣服穿什么样子我都看不到，全部都黑的。跟他的儿子判若两人，他的儿子是全身发金光，而且后面还射出七彩的光芒。可是我大嫂却没有，所以说真的不要毁谤修心人。感谢师傅，谢谢师傅帮忙我们全家，太感谢了，谢谢师傅，谢谢，谢谢。你回去叫那个，你回去叫那个妈妈呢，忏悔 ，OK？ 还有救，嗯？还有吗？啊，说。那是我再多说一个体验啊，这个体验是今天，呃，上午早晨在这个新地体验到的，就上面有个大的广场，那楼梯上面，呃，今天打完坐之后的话呢，因为中间休息上去，有在那晨练的。嗯，就觉得当时比较疲劳，比较累，呃，但慢慢的师兄师姐都走了，去吃饭的时候呢，这个广场人越来越少了，就突然感觉怎么讲，那一刹那的讲，呃，整个广场好像就能量特别的强大，这个心地这个地方，然后那刹那我感觉好像就自己好像不存在一样，就感觉天地俱融，而且那种力量的话，呃，无法用言语形容，非常的超越。啊，这种感觉不单单在那个大广场有，包括在少林寺上，感受整个我们心地都是这种感觉，特别特别的强烈啊。然后这让我想起以前就是泰国禅的时候呢，呃，我也有一种同样的感受，在芭提雅那个地方，当时就是肉眼就能看到整个那个空气中那个光就特别的强烈。所以说刚才师傅说赞叹这个在世名师的功德，说很多这个天人下来去赞叹师尊，真的是一个在世名师的功德，真的是。无边无量的无法言语去赞叹和感谢的，所以这里特别特别的感谢师傅带给我们这么多众生这么大的恩典和福报，谢谢谢谢。Whoever can stay, stay. Whoever has to leave, leave and go have dinner. OK 哈，嗯。Moi guapa. Yo. Soy moi guapa. That means I'm beautiful in Spanish. We love you. 要保留驾驶力，别讲话啊！嗯。哇，还这么圆，女孩子好多。<笑>这样也对，女孩子乖乖，嗯，要脱离苦海，是吗？这世界没什么好，没什么那么永久好玩了啊。